Hi, my name is Leah Jelke, and I'm an English teacher at Fargo South High School in Fargo, North Dakota. Many people probably know that Fargo gets a lot of snow. But what some people don't know is that we are actually a resettlement city. Refugees are resettled into Fargo, North Dakota because of the low unemployment, safety, and great economy. We all know it's not because of the weather. I teach a class called Partnership for New Americans. This class partners U.S.-born students who are mentors with our brand new EL students. Since my students come from over 30 different countries and speak many different languages, I think that it is imperative to implement different aspects of global education into every lesson. Postcards for Kakuma is a project by Take Action Global. It is to create postcards to put up on the walls of the brand new Kakuma Academy to be launched in the Kakuma Refugee Camp in Kenya this spring. Connecting with the National Geographic Learning Frameworks, I wanted to my students to explore their curiosity about other refugees, as well as observe what it was like to come from certain parts of the world as they collaborated and communicated about the human journey. I want my students to take part in this project but first, I wanted them to understand a little more about the history of human migration, and I used the National Geographic Educator resource to do so. With the resources, students looked at why people migrate, as well as looking at different types of people who are refugees. It's important to note that 90% of my new American students are also refugees. To help create a personal connection with the human journey, my students who are refugees also shared stories of how they came to the United States. My EL students were excited to share about their experiences as refugees. Some talked about carrying water miles and miles, and others talked about different types of games they played in the camps. Using clips from the Lost Boys of Sudan on the National Geographic website, students were able to learn about the journey that the Lost Boys had to go on before they arrived at Kakuma. Some of my students have actually lived in Kakuma as well. Students also discussed how climate and power create refugees. For the next part of the project, students used virtual reality goggles using YouTube 3D sites about Kakuma's education. When finished with the experience, the students discussed the differences between education in the U.S. and education in the Kakuma Refugee Camp. In addition, my students who are from Kakuma Refugee Camp were able to share their experiences with education. The final part of the project was to create our postcards for Kakuma. We created handmade postcards using paper and art supplies. This map shows the schools around the world that contributed to this Postcards for Kakuma project. As you can see, this is a global collaboration. I found resources for my students on websites that had inspirational quotes related to school to help model what they should be writing on their postcards. Students cut out their postcards and then worked on creating a positive message for the students in the Kakuma refugee camp. Our U.S.-born mentor student helped our new EL students with grammar, helping them find positive phrases to put on their postcards. When we were finished, I mailed all of the postcards to Take Action Global so that they will be able to take them to the Kakuma Academy. This lesson encompassed cultural, political, economic, and historical perspectives on a global scale. My students felt empowered after learning about human migration, the Kakuma refugee camp, and creating postcards for the Kakuma Academy. In reflection, 
I could clearly see how my students' curiosity was able to help them observe, collaborate, and communicate about the human journey. During the project, I was delighted to see my students collaborating together and realized how lucky I am to have students from all over the world bring their perspectives into my classroom. The global scale of this project helped me to connect and collaborate with educators from around the world and helped my students to understand the human journey and about compassion and empathy.